Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. If you're new here, welcome. This channel is all about self-love, building confidence, and investing in yourself to become a better version of yourself. If you're interested, please subscribe and continue watching this video. Today's video is how to start investing in yourself. These are my tips on how to start doing this and I'm sure there's other ways you can start but these are just things that have worked for me and I think that can work for you also. So number one is to become educated. You need to increase your education to become a better version of yourself and you have to become a lifelong student. It's so important to keep learning in life and to develop new skills acquire new information and just be able to learn new things. This will make you much better. And you can learn by reading new books, attending workshops, conferences, uh, attend a lecture, take a class at a university, listen to podcasts, which I've started doing. Um, I'll make a video of what kind of podcasts I listen to and what kind of podcasts I like. Uh, and then, yeah, so that video is going to come soon. Stay tuned for that. And also learn a new language. That's a really good investment because, look, uh, having more than one language is not only something that's useful when you're traveling, and it's also a conversation piece when you're meeting new people. And it's really good to have in your resume. I live in Canada, so here knowing English and French is very important. I think you have, it's actually required uh, if you want to work for government because those are both official languages here. So I'm actually thinking about learning French again. They do teach us in uh, elementary school, up to high school, but that kind of French did not stick with me, so I need to take it all over again. And it's something I really do see as an investment. Number two, you need to invest in your future. If you're gonna invest in yourself now, it's because you want a better you overall for tomorrow. And you need to think about that tomorrow, you need to think about that future. So I say you need to make a three year plan that's realistic. I say three years because the way our world is now, information is being transmitted and shared so fast, it's so easily accessible, things are just constantly changing, you never know what's going to happen. So three years is a fair amount to be able to guess towards the future. Five years, you don't know what's going to happen in five years. You don't know what's going to happen in five years. Even, I think 2.5 years is actually like what you can guess at this point. But let's just round it up to three years. Let's make a plan of our dreams, our desires, our goals, and what is required of you to achieve this in that time. And give yourself that timeline. Make a timeline of it. Say, in this year one, I'm going to do this. Year two, I will do this. Year three, here's the end goal. And then I'll make another three-year list at the end of the three-year list. Third thing is to level up your appearance. Yes, we have to do some work on our external selves. So this, this means uh, dressing better, investing in better high-quality makeup, investing in better hair. I've actually started um, doing different things with my hair. I'm natural, so I kind of just do protective, protective styles. And it's my first time doing this kind of hair. So it's good to experiment and see what works, what makes you feel and look the best. What's going to give you your best self? And my best friend, um, Trisha, she actually told me that this hair is her favorite on me. So, yeah, I'm just experimenting and I'm seeing what's going on. Also, on physical investment, I'm going to be fixing my teeth. I'm going to get straighter teeth. And that's something that I'm looking forward to and also I'm gonna lose about 15 pounds and I think at that point I'll be on my ideal weight I'll be at my healthiest my strongest and I'll look the best I'll feel the best and have the most confidence other ways you can invest in yourself is by seeing a nutritionist uh, working on what you eat you know your food is your fuel you have to eat good food going to a gym losing weight or building muscle um, scheduling just regular maintenance days like let's say every Sunday you get your nails done every Monday you get your eyebrows plucked you get your teeth whitened on Wednesdays every one uh, once 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 a month you know or once every two months or however you want to do it and just develop a routine of self-care that's going to really focus on 
fixing, not fixing, improving your physical appearance. And when you look your best, you'll feel your best. And it, it, is an, is it, it is a great investment because I always say the biggest investment you can make and the most important investment is yourself. You are the biggest investment. And you'll pay big dividends when you invest. Number four, build your confidence. You have to have confidence in life. It will take you far, it will keep you on the path to success, <laughs> and you just need it. I have a video that you can go watch. It's 10 ways to build your confidence. And I think that those tips will really help you. So however, you, however way you want to do it, there's lots of ways you can go about building your confidence and maintaining your confidence. Uh, that's just that, that video is just one of the ways you can do it. Number five develop communication skills well develop skills in general such as communication skills you need to develop a strong worth ethic you need to have attention to detail time management whatever skill you're lacking like really reassess yourself reevaluate yourself and say okay what am i lacking that i need to build upon that is actually required to succeed and like, like I said, communication skills are very important, whether it's verbal communication or um, technolo techno technological communication, like emails, writing, whatever it is that you need to build upon that is an acquired skill for success, start working on it. It is an investment and it's something you have to take seriously. Number six, you have to improve your self-discipline. This one is something that I've been working on again. Um, I'm a Capricorn, so I love routine. I love structure. So this isn't too hard for me to do. It's just um, I'm just changing up my routine, actually. I'm becoming more active, so I'm doing more workouts. I'm incorporating this into my routine, and I don't really like working out, so this is where the self-discipline comes in. And self-discipline is self-love, let me tell you that. When you discipline yourself, you're loving yourself because you want the best for yourself. So it's hard to set your foot down so you can eat chocolate, you can't um, go out and get donuts right now. You have to work out, but it's required. It's, it's, it's absolutely necessary. You have to have self-discipline because this is the same thing. Because this, this is what's going to make you go to that class. This is what's going to make you invest in better quality clothing invest in your appearance. It's gonna make you go out and learn these skills, acquire the skills needed to succeed. It's gonna make you stick to your three-year plan on how to achieve success and focus on your goals. Discipline controls everything. You have to be self-disciplined. You have to. And those are my steps to start investing in yourself. And I know they seem like really small, simple steps, but there are many layers to these steps. It's gonna require time, and you're just gonna have to be willing to go on the process, be on the journey of investing in yourself and wanting to better yourself in your life and improve things that are going on in your life. Now, let's talk about a little bit um, Actually, no, I do have some extra steps for you. Let's, let's do this. Uh, let's do number seven. I think we're at number seven now. And that is look for mentors. This is so important. You have to have people in your life who you look up to, who you see who are living the way you want to live, have the career you want, the house you want, whatever you want. And you have to seek out their knowledge and say, how'd you get this? What are you doing? And really listen to people, you know, everybody has mentors. Even the President of the United States has advisors. Everyone has people in their life that they can, or not everybody, but everybody should have people in their life that they can come to for advice, seek knowledge from, and get wisdom from. 
So one of my one of my mentors actually is um, Anna Bay from School of Affluence. She is really great. She's actually here on YouTube, and she has an online finish, finishing school that you can uh, go look at and you can become a student for her finishing school and learn more ways on how to invest in yourself. But she's one of my mentors and one of my um, role models actually because she really is a very classy person and she has really invested in herself to the point where she is teaching others and helping others with the process with a step-by-step -step school. So she really knows her craft. Number eight level up your circle you need to surround yourself with people who are like-minded who are striving towards big goals like you who have um aspirations of bettering themselves bettering their lives these kind of people are going to motivate you they're going to inspire you and they're great to have along for the ride and you have to have people like that because when you invest in yourself and when you start uplifting yourself up to a higher position in life you're gonna lose people you're gonna lose people who no longer fit that um, who no longer just fit in your life and it's good to have friends around it's good to have people you can talk to people you can share things with so investing in that um, that higher quality circle in that making friends who are in the same mind space as you it's really gonna pay off and it's gonna help you a lot in your investing in your self journey. Number nine, don't make excuses. You cannot make excuses. You have to just do the work. This goes back to self discipline. You have to go to the gym. You have to go to that class. You have to learn that language. You have to stick to that plan. You have to keep yourself responsible and keep yourself um and check and you just can't make, you can't make excuses you cannot make excuses gotta stick to it and number 10 invest in your surroundings so recently i started upgrading my room i got new curtains i bought some new clothes and i've been updating it gradually so this is something that's going to make you feel good but it's also going to inspire you when you surrounded by amazing beautiful things that you've worked hard for you're gonna feel inspired to work harder and to acquire more things and to continue your process of working on yourself the goal is happiness the goal is to feel like you've achieved in life and you have to surround yourself with things that are gonna make you inspired to achieve to continue investing in yourself to continue working on yourself and continue working hard so, yeah, if you have some accolades, like your degrees, if you have some awards, some trophies, put them up on the shelf. Put them up and allow yourself to see them, to become motivated by them, to become inspired by them, and to continue to work hard to go out and to acquire more things like that, to get those accolades, to get those awards, to whatever if you want to travel get some pictures of traveling and get a map put it up in your room and start putting pins on where you want to go or where you have been going you just need to surround yourself with things that are going to help you in this level of journey and those are actually all my tips <laughs> i don't have any more now and thank you for watching if you like my tips give a thumbs up if you don't like them give a thumbs down so i know you don't like this video and give a comment below on why you want to invest in yourself and what tip of mine are you going to take to start your investing journey, your level up journey. And let me know if you watch School of Affluence, uh, if you watch Anna Bay's videos, or if you're a Jet Set babe. Always nice to meet another one. Comment down below and follow me on my social media. My social media is my Instagram mainly. That is Sarah. S-A-R-A-H-R-X-Y. It's going to be in the description box below along with the 10 uh, steps I put, uh, the 10 steps I just talked about right now. Also, if you have an interest in fashion, follow my fashion blog. It's called Papillon Rouge, Red Butterfly in French. 
and I post their weekly outfits and I'll be posting more frequently actually I'm gonna start posting blog posts about fashion and current events and things like that so the link is in the description box below thank you so much for watching I'll see you next time and yeah thank you bye